us why in a rare television interview you do not want to miss this one. And from music greats, thank you. And up next, a Fox Wire exclusive with the angry king of pop. Why is Michael Jackson taking on the head of a major corporation? He'll tell us why in a rare interview. Stay tuned for Michael Jackson. That's coming right up. We must put an end to this racism. Racism is bad. Tommy Mottola made some very racist remarks. But what he said was to one of the artists who work at uh, Sony, he has a contract with, uh, with the company, and um, he called him a fat black man. Some fireworks today. Of course, Tommy Mottola is the head of Sony Corporation. Multi-platinum singer Michael Jackson is feuding with Sony and Tommy Mottola. Sony is, of course, his big name record company. At a speech and rally with Reverend Al Sharpton in Harlem today, the gloved wonder charged that the recording industry was a racist conspiracy that turns profits at the expense of performers, particularly minority artists. Reverend Sharpton has recently formed a coalition to investigate whether some artists are financially exploited. Right after his speech, I spoke briefly to the king of pop for a rare exclusive television interview. Michael, why was it important for you to be here, and what do you think of the support of Reverend Al Sharpton? I think it's important to be here. I'm not just fighting for myself. I'm fighting for all artists, those uh, great artists who pioneered, you know, entertainment business as well as songwriting as well as incredible staging. You know, the fact that they have been taken by the system, totally broken them financially. You know, and this has to stop this conspiracy. You said out there that you felt that Sony was racist. I didn't say Sony was racist. I said Tommy Mottola is racist. Who's the head of Sony? Yeah, Tommy Mottola. Do you feel the recording industry as a whole has been, you use the word sort of conspiracy against black artists? Why do you think this has happened? Why do I think this is Because money is the root of all evil. Um, you also said out there that you believe that some of the recording um, companies take black artists' money. You, we brought up James Brown and some of these others. At the end of their careers are broke and penniless. Yeah. What is your financial situation? I'm in an incredible financial situation. I just wrote somebody a check for $500 million. But when good news doesn't sell, if there's something negative and that's a rumor, that's when it's blasted. No. I don't expect the press to say anything good, you know. Well, I hear one of your dreams is to do directing. Yes. Tell, what, what are some of the other things you want to do in your career? Uh, um, films. Oh. We're making our own motion pictures and I have a movie coming up I'm directing, you know, great entertainment. What do you think of Reverend Al Sharpton and why is his support so important at this time for you? Because he's an incredible orator and he is supported by, uh, you know, the public in, uh, I think, a beautiful way. And, he understands. We need a mouthpiece, a voice for the voiceless, you know, and he's, he's the guy. One other quick question, just because you're in New York. One of the frustrations on 9-11 was the charity album. It, just what are your thoughts about 9-11 being here in New York? I hated it. I hated it if it was anywhere. An emotional and very interesting Michael Jackson. And with the help of Reverend Al Sharpton, he is taking on the head of Sony Corporation, Tommy Mottola, as you just heard. But no surprise, Sony Music Corporation was outraged by Jackson's comments, and they quickly issued a statement today calling his words, quote, ludicrous and spiteful. They also said that they were hurtful. And they said it seems bizarre that Jackson has chosen to launch an ugly attack on a music executive who has championed his career for many, many years. And speaking of major corporate headaches, are the current scams to investigate whether some minority entertainers are being exploited by big record labels? Jackson held nothing back and singled out Sony Music chairman Tommy Mottola. He accused him of using the N-word to describe one African-American artist. During my rare interview with the pop icon, Jackson explained why he's causing such fireworks now. I think it's important to be here. I'm not just fighting for myself. I'm fighting for all artists, those uh, great artists who pioneered, you know, entertainment business as well as songwriting, as well as incredible staging. You know, the fact that they have been taken by the system, totally broken them financially. You know, and this has to stop this conspiracy. You said out there that you felt that Sony was racist. I didn't say Sony was racist. I said Tommy Mottola is racist. Who's the head of Sony? Yeah, Tommy Mottola. 
do you feel the recording industry as a whole has been, you use the word sort of conspiracy against black artists. Why do you think this has happened? Why do I think this is because money is the root of all evil? No surprise, Sony Music is outraged by Jackson's comments. They quickly issued a statement today calling his words, quote, ludicrous and spiteful. And they said it seems bizarre that Jackson has chosen to launch an ugly attack on a music executive who has championed his career for many, many years. Tonight on Fox Wire at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll have more of my exclusive interview with the Glove Superstar, where he talks about his own finances, if there's any truth to the rumors that he may be in bad financial straits right now. And he also talks about a surprise, something he's working on in his own career, and it's not singing. That's the only hint I'll give you. Rick, back to you. All right, Rita, I'll be watching later on tonight. Thank you. Iverson is apparently out of town. Police have not talked with him yet, and no charges have been filed. Superstar singer Michael Jackson says record companies steal, cheat, and exploit artists, especially black artists. His thriller of a speech to a group in Harlem targeted his own company, Sony, and singled out Sony Music Chairman and Mariah Carey's ex-husband, Tommy Mottola. In a statement, Sony called Jackson's words ludicrous and said Matola had championed Jackson's career for years. And famed Hollywood director John Frank. Kind of a strange scene in uh, downtown Manhattan, actually midtown Manhattan you yesterday. You were down here yesterday, did you see it? I, I didn't see it, but I heard about it actually. A friend of mine who was in town said, what's the deal with Michael Jackson on a red double-decker bus with pictures of Tommy Matola on the bus? looking like the yep, devil. Tommy Mottola is the yeah, yeah. Uh, Sony president of Sony Music and here's the cover of the New York Post today. They give a, a good wrap up here. Apparently, Jacko, that, that's as Michael Jackson, Jackson here, if, right yeah, there. This is Michael Jackson and this is uh, Tommy Mottola, the good, bad and the ugly. The good, I guess Michael Jackson thinks is him, Tommy, looking like the devil and the ugly, I guess he thinks Tommy's ugly. He's got a problem with Tommy Mottola, the president of Sony. Michael Jackson says he's a racist and he says some other things about him. Listen real quick. We must put an end to this racism. Racism is bad. Tommy Mottola made some very racist remarks. But what he said was to one of the artists who work at uh, Sony, he has a contract with, uh, with the company. And um, he called him a fat black nigger. Now, uh, first, I'm, I'm glad he said at the top, racism is bad, because what's the average age of his, his fans? I mean, do, do they, I mean, most people understand that. <laughs> uh, he didn't have to explain that much, although maybe he's used to dealing with younger people all the time. Um, but, <laughs> what do you mean by that, Bob? Yeah, well, you know, uh, but he is making criticism of the uh, music industry, specifically picking on Matola, but uh, saying that they, uh, they steal, they cheat, they do whatever they can, especially to the black artists, which was part of his point there. I, you know, on the one hand, it seems like he has a point. The music industry has been fairly well established. It's not treating its artists all that well. And that's one of the reasons you have all these uh, people that have hits and then they get no money well, on the other end. But there are a lot of people who they invest money in who don't have hits and they lose a lot of money. That's I mean, right. so, you know, well, that, I think that, once you become a superstar, obviously you, you renegotiate your contract or you get some other things out of there. Well, that's why I was going to say, company. why doesn't he go along with some of the other notable people in the industry that are trying to fight the music industry, um, it, as opposed to he himself going out here with what appears to me an effort to become relevant once well, again? Well, I think this all boils down to uh, Jackson being upset over his latest album, Invincible, which was a bomb. Jackson says it, it's, Sony, it's Sony's fault. Sony says it's Jackson's fault, and I guess Tommy Mottola is, is the head of Sony, so Tommy's the fall guy here. And who is he married to now? He, wa he was married to Mariah Carey, and now he's married to Talia? Talia? Is that right? Talia? She's a big uh, Latin American. Is that her name? I think it is. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I'm so sure we'll hear of her soon, or more. Yeah, and after he went on the big double-decker bus tour of Manhattan, he went over to... Reverend Al Sharpton's place and was talking with Al Sharpton about the record company's cheating, uh, cheating artists, especially the, the black artists. Yeah, so then he went over to the... Strange, strange deal yesterday. Yeah, then he went to Chuck E. Cheese and, uh, <laughs> never mind. Um, <laughs> let's find out what's going oh, on. Oh, my. Outside Times Square. Well, apparently when he was driving around on this double-decker bus, the fans realized it was Michael Jackson because he was waving and he's holding the pictures of Tommy Mottola. 
and they start freaking out. They're running after the bus, and he's making circles around Madison Avenue, which on a Saturday afternoon, I mean, that's that's like shopping central. So, you know, yeah. the people are sitting there going, what's going on? And there's fans running down the street, and there's chaos, and yeah. there's devil pictures, and... L loved Off the Wall. Just another Off day the New Wall York. is fantastic, <laughs> along with Thriller. All right, let's find out uh, what else is going on in the world. Donna Fiducia, Jordan. Um, we'll tell you what's got them so steamed. Plus, Michael Jackson, with you, what he had to say, offering up some harsh words for record companies. The king of pop, not pulling any punches, will tell you what he said. And fearless folks flocking to and a half feet of rain in less than a week. And more is in the forecast. Well, superstar singer Michael Jackson says record companies steal, cheat, and exploit artists, especially black artists. His thriller of a speech to a group in Harlem targeted his own record company, Sony, and singled out Sony Music Chairman and Mariah Carey's ex-husband, Tommy Mottola. In a statement, Sony calls uh, Jackson's words, quote, ludicrous, and said Mottola had championed Jackson's career for years. And Hollywood is her gone cold. Racist record execs, pop star Michael Jackson's explosive charges. We have an exclusive interview with the glove. And put on your track. They're not kidding. And he made millions making records. So why is Michael Jackson so angry at the folks who helped him make all that dough? MJ's tirade coming up next on the Fox News Channel. Well, Michael Jackson's latest CD, Invincible, came out last fall, and I'll tell you, it had to be pretty darn good to be any better than Thriller. It was accompanied by all the hype, all the megabox, megabucks hoopla that you'd expect from Sony Records, or so it seemed. Well, I don't know if it was good or not, but it tanked, more or less. <laughs> <It> <laughs> and sure the did. king of pop, well, yesterday he was seething. He has a war of words with his record company, Sony. And they found an outlet on our Foxwire with Rita Cosby last night, in which he gave an exclusive interview. Well, why was it important for you to be here, and what do you think of the support of Reverend Al Sharpton? I think it's important to be here. I'm not just fighting for myself, I'm fighting for all artists. Those uh, great artists who pioneered, you know, entertainment business, as well as songwriting, as well as incredible staging. You know, the fact that they have been taken by the system, totally broken and financially. You know, and this has to stop this conspiracy. You said out there that you felt that Sony was racist. I didn't say Sony was racist. I said Tommy Mottola is racist. Who's the head of Sony? Yeah, Tommy Mottola. Do you feel the recording industry as a whole has been, you use the word sort of conspiracy against black artists. Why do you think this has happened? Why do I think this is Because money is the root of all evil. Um, you also said out there that you believe that some of the recording um, companies take black artists' money. You, we brought up James Brown and some of these others. At the end of their careers are broke and penniless. Yeah. What is your financial situation? I'm in an incredible financial situation. I just wrote somebody a check for $500 million. But when good news doesn't sell, if there's something negative and that's a rumor, that's when it's blasted. No. I don't expect the press to say anything good, you know. Well, I hear one of your dreams is to do directing. Yes. Tell, what, what are some of the other things you want to do in your career? Uh, um, films. Yeah. We're making our own motion pictures, and I have a movie coming up I'm directing, and, you know, great entertainment. What do you think of Reverend Al Sharpton, and why is his support so important at this time for you? Because he's an incredible orator. And he is supported by, uh, you know, the public in, uh, I think, a beautiful way. And he understands. We need a mouthpiece, a voice for the voiceless. You know, and he's, he's the guy. And you can catch Fox Wire with Rita Cosby weekends at 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on the Fox News Channel. Rita on the case. Wie Mallorca die Ballermänner loswerden will. Ganz schön sauer, wie sich Michael Jackson gegen Sony-Boss Tommy Motola zur Wehr setzt. Aber noch an diesem Wochenende und wer machte in den vergangenen Tagen Schlagzeilen? Kena Amor und Jillina haben die Highlights. Mann, ist der sauer. Michael Jackson ist der Demonstrant der Woche. Bei einer Pressekonferenz gegen die Benachteiligung schwarzer Musiker hackte er mal wieder auf seinem Lieblingsopfer Sony-Boss Tommy Motola herum. Jackson sagt, seine letzte Platte wäre nicht gefloppt, hätte Sony mehr Interesse daran gezeigt. Er ist eine böse Person, ein Rassist und er ist sehr, sehr teuflisch. 
Und Jacko war noch nicht fertig. Er ermutigte die Fans draußen zu Sprechchören gegen die Plattenfirma und hielt selbst ein Plakat in die Höhe, das deutlich macht, Jackson ist der Gute, Motola das Böse. Noch eine U. Exklusiv die No Angels beim Videodreh auf Mallorca. Gestatten Mr. Durchgeknallt. Michael Jackson hält seinen Plattenboss für den Teufel und entdeckt die Bürgerrechte. Noch Fragen? Dies und mehr in wenigen Augenblicken hier bei Punkt 12. Einziger Trost für alle Beteiligten, der Gladiator wollte diesmal in seinem Alkoholrausch niemanden an den Kragen. Der sonst so liebe Michael Jackson ist schwer sauer. Bei einem Auftritt bei einer Antirassismusveranstaltung in New York warf Jacko seiner Plattenfirma vor, schuld an seinem Misserfolg zu sein. Und im Streit mit seinen Plattenbossen fährt der sonst so liebe I love you Michael immer schwerere Geschütze auf. Warum einem das Ganze aber irgendwie Bauchschmerzen bereitet, zumal der 43-Jährige mal wieder ziemlich neben der Spur zu sein scheint, sagt ihn Martin Schulte. Very, very, very... Devilish, devilish, devilish. Der ist wirklich teuflisch. Huh, da geht der King of Pop aber jetzt mal so richtig aus sich raus. Schluss ist mit diesem weichgespülten... Action Jacko hat das Kriegsbeil ausgegraben. Ziel des Zorns ist dieser Mann hier. Tommy Mottola, mächtiger Plattenboss beim noch mächtigeren Sony-Konzern und auch noch Ex-Mann von Mariah Carey, weil nämlich, und da ist sich Jacko ganz sicher, der mag keine Farbigen. Die Plattenfirmen haben sich gegen die Künstler verschworen. Sie stehlen, sie betrügen, besonders die schwarzen Künstler. Gemein. Und so bläst der sonst so liebe Michael ganz in der Tradition der Bürgerrechtler zum Kreuzzug gegen den Rassismus der Plattenbosse. Der König ruft und und schon steht das Volk wie ein Mann hinter dem ach so benachteiligten. Das ist ein großartiges Album und sind, wir sind uns sicher, dass Sony das Werk sabotiert. Bis diese Gemeinheit aufhört, sabotieren wir alles, was von Sony kommt. Dass sich Jackos neues Werk Invincible möglicherweise deshalb so schleppend verkauft, weil es einfach schlecht ist, ist natürlich total ausgeschlossen. Hier geht's ums Prinzip italoamerikanischer Plattenboss gegen, naja, ehemals schwarzen Megastar. Das ist wichtig. All die Jahre sind die Schwarzen benachteiligt worden. Ich habe ihn noch nie so erlebt und ich möchte ihn auch nie wieder so erleben. Der König... Und sein Lieblingsrassist, wenn die Plattenmillionen nicht mehr so fließen, das kann einen aber auch echt sauer machen, aber so richtig. Zur Feier wurde es dann richtig starträchtig. Die Beckhams kamen vorbei und auch das Model L. McPherson wünschte Glück. Schwarzer Peter. Was macht ein Sänger, wenn ihn plötzlich keiner mehr hören will, wenn seine Alben floppen? Ganz einfach. Er schiebt die Schuld auf die Plattenfirma. Ganz klar. Und da bei Jacko schon immer alles etwas merkwürdig zuging, fängt er nun sogar, man höre und staune, einen Rassenkampf an. Wenn seine CD nicht läuft, liegt das daran, dass die Plattenfirma die Schwarzen diskriminiert. Ist doch glasklar. Sony-Chef Tommy Mottola Sony ist böse, ein Rassist und sehr, sehr teuflisch. Na dann sind wir ja gespannt auf die weitere Teufelsaustreibung. Danach noch zurückzuerhalten, sie stehen nun infolge des Münchhausen-Syndrom-Vorwurfes schlechter denn je. Die einzigen drei Worte, die wir von Michael Jackson im letzten Jahrhundert gehört haben, waren... I love you! Manchmal waren es auch vier Worte. I love you! Aber seit ein paar Wochen plaudert der Jacko wie ein Wasserfall. Und was da aus seinem gut und säuberlich geschnitzten Mund rauskommt, ist nicht immer nett. Michael Jackson, die berühmteste Nase der Popgeschichte. Mega erfolgreich, von den Massen geliebt und stets mit neuem Gesicht, ist weiter auf dem Rachefeldzug. Sein letztes Album, Invincible, floppte gehörig und der 43-Jährige weiß auch, warum. Die Plattenfirmen haben sich wirklich gegen die Künstler verschworen. Sie stehlen, sie schummeln und sie machen, was sie wollen, vor allem mit den schwarzen Künstlern. Was ist denn mit Michael Jackson los? Jahrelang lässt er sich kaum in der Öffentlichkeit blicken, haucht gerade mal ein I love you über die schmalen Lippen und jetzt das. Jacko jagt von einem öffentlichen Auftritt zum nächsten. Er pöbelt, er schimpft auf die ganz Großen im Musikbusiness. Bereits vor knapp drei Wochen hat er sich bei einem Fantreffen in London richtig aggressiv gezeigt und gehörig über seine Plattenfirma gewettert. Sony hat an mir viele Millionen Dollar verdient. Scheinbar haben sie gehofft, dass ich immer schön singe und tanze. Aber jetzt, wo ich anfange zu denken, 
bewerfen sie mich mit Dreck. Eigentlich haben die Plattenbosse Jacko eher mit Millionen beworfen. Aber den einst so unbestrittenen Platz auf dem Pop-Olymp, den hat der Erfinder des Moonwalks zweifellos verloren. Das letzte Album ein totaler Flop. 25 Millionen Dollar Produktionskosten, aber keiner wollte es haben. Das lässt Michael in die Offensive gehen. Auf einer Pressekonferenz im New Yorker Schwarzenviertel Harlem setzte er noch eins drauf. Sony, Tommy Mottola. Er ist der Präsident der Plattenabteilung. Er ist böse, ein Rassist und richtig teuflisch. Der Teufel in Person, wie Jackson seinen zukünftigen Ex-Boss Tony Mottola bezeichnet, war jahrelang sein größter Förderer. Nach der Pressekonferenz zog Michael vor die Zentrale des Musikkonzerns und schwenkte Plakate. Sony bezeichnete unterdessen die Vorwürfe als albern, gehässig und verletzend. Sie seien entsetzt, dass Jackson in seinem ewigen Drang nach Publicity so tief sinkt. Ein offener Schlagabtausch. Aber das einzige Denkmal Michael Jackson bröckelt weiterhin gewaltig. Und plötzlich hat er auch gar keine Angst mehr vor diesen ganzen... The Reverend Al Sharpton joins us to go on record about this feud that's growing between that man, the gloved one, Michael Jackson, and a music executive over at Sony Music. And then another battle is raging, this one over the body of Bass. Michael Jackson's latest CD was called Invincible. It came out last fall with Sony Records providing a lot of hype and mega bucks hoopla, I guess about $60 million worth. Well, the album did not do well. It tanked, in fact. And the King of Pop now says Sony should have done a lot more. In a Foxwire exclusive, our own Rita Cosby asked Jackson, what's behind his charge? Why was it important for you to be hey, here? Uh, what do you Bern? think of the support of Reverend Al Sharpton? I think it's important to be here. I'm not just fighting for myself, I'm fighting for all artists. Those uh, great artists who pioneered, you know, entertainment business, as well as songwriting, as well as incredible staging. You know, the fact that they have been taken by the system, totally broken them financially. You know, and this has to stop, this conspiracy. You said out there that you felt that Sony was racist. I didn't say Sony was racist, I said Tommy Mottola is racist. Who's the head of Sony? Yeah, Tommy Mottola. Do you feel the recording industry as a whole has been you used the word sort of conspiracy against black artists? Why do you think this has happened? Why do I think this is because money is the root of all evil? Um, you also said out there that you believe that some of the recording um, companies take black artists' money. You, we brought up James Brown and some of these others at the end of their careers are broke and penniless. Yeah. What is your financial situation? I'm in an incredible financial situation. I just wrote somebody a check for $500 million. But when good news doesn't sell, if there's something negative and that's a rumor, that's when it's blasted. No. I don't expect the press to say anything no. good, you know. Well, I hear one of your dreams is to do directing. Yes. Tell, what, what are some of the other things you want to do in your career? Uh, um, films. Yeah. We're making our own motion pictures and I have a movie coming up I'm directing and, you know, great entertainment. What do you think of Reverend Al Sharpton and why is his support so important at this time for you? Because he's an incredible orator and he is supported by, uh, you know, the public in, uh, I think, a beautiful way and he understands. We need a mouthpiece, a voice for the voiceless, you know, and he's, he's the guy. Now the voice for the voiceless, according to Michael Jackson, the Reverend Al Sharpton joins us here in studio. Now, let me quote Reverend exactly what he said. Uh, apparently, either you were there or it was around the time that you were there. He said about the head of Sony Records, Tommy Mottola, he's mean, he's a racist, and he's very, very devilish. Do you agree that the head of Sony's a racist? Well, first of all, I think that the context is he said that some producers had come to him in Berlin stehen zurzeit 33.000 Plattenbauwohnungen leer. Kaum Mr. Matola had in fact uh, used uh, racial words around them. But clearly Michael Jackson believes those reports because he says he's mean, he's yeah, a racist. He, he has said that, but I think again he has said that in the context of people coming to him. I think that uh, many of us have known Mr. Matola down through the years, including Michael, and were surprised when people came forward. 
And I think that Michael, uh, who has shown, in my opinion, great courage bringing the issue of unfairness to artists and racism in the industry coming forward, just mentioned that along with other things. But I don't if think Sony's, the, the, the question in a lot of people's minds, Sony spent $60 million on this album, Invincible, in producing it and promoting the, the, the album. If you spend $60 million trying to make something work, how can you be racist? Well, first of all, I think that you are mixing apples and oranges. The question is... Well, you put your money where your mouth is. That's the old expression. And apparently, well, Sonny's done but that. But they've made a lot more than $60 million. Michael Jackson is the largest record seller of all time. Uh, $60 million... He hasn't done bad either. Well, uh,